So I'm very much going to be public enemy number one. I was like, I was holding tight. Like, after all of that, you're just going to be smiling and giggling and say bye. So far, touch wood. Um, on that note, in 2020, I was kind of a TikTok sensation. Ah, uh, would we say sensation? Yeah, why not? It's Ralph Lauren, no. Can you stop groping my bum? Don't yawn during Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I'm not her dad. Hey. Hiya, gang. You can probably see Hugo in the background there. I'm, I'm just waiting for him to wake up. Uh, we have been to soft play this morning with Granny, and we've just driven to collect my grandma. And now we're going just to like the local cafe for some lunch. So just to get out of the house and keep busy and keep our mind off the fact that Hugo is having his one year immunizations today. So he's got his jabs. So I think there's like one in each arm and one in each leg. So four jabs all together, I believe. Um, Reese doesn't do jabs. So I am the bad parent that has to take him. Um, so I'm very much going to be public enemy number one later on today, I am sure. We haven't got the jabs until about 3 or 3.30 today, but I'm so nervous for them. I mean, obviously it's never nice seeing a little one have jabs, um, but it's a lot for one year, isn't it? It's a lot. He's 13 months tomorrow, um, so I believe you can get them done anywhere between 12 months and 15 months. Uh, the last set we had actually booked in for um, were the week of Christmas. Unfortunately though, he was quite unwell, although they advised we should wait until he's better to give him the immunizations this time. So we cancelled that appointment and rescheduled for today. Um, so fingers crossed, all will be okay. We'll just try and keep him dosed up on medicines and just very nervous, I'm not gonna lie. You can probably tell because I'm just babbling. Also, we've um, come back from Norfolk. Obviously, we went to go and pick Hugo up at the weekend and had a lovely weekend and, well, I say we had a lovely weekend. We did have a lovely weekend, but for the majority of it, I was throwing up in a bowl. I'm not really sure why. I just had this really bad 48 hour sickness bug. Um, I feel better now, but I still don't feel 100%. I feel very wiped out and drowsy and just, a bit drained. Um, I'm not sure whether it was a migraine sickness or whether it was like an actual bug, um, but oh my lord, I just was completely gone. It was not a fun experience. Um, it just felt like a really, really rotten hangover. And considering I don't drink, like I haven't felt a hangover since early 2020. So to feel that way after like three years of never having a hangover, oh my lord, it was awful it just reminds me why i don't drink not that obviously this was caused by drinking but it just reminds me the feeling of the day after drinking <sighs> awful i'm really hoping hugo is going to wake up soon um it's not even like i'm trying to be quiet he's just sleeping through he's been asleep for he's been asleep for about an hour and 15 minutes now must have been exhausted from playgroup <sighs> i'm going to keep you guys posted throughout the day after we've had the jabs and everything and hopefully we have an all right night and because we're getting them later on in the day, he sleeps through and they won't affect him, he says. Oh, this is the bad part of parenting, isn't it? Um, so that was a stressful experience. We went in, everything's fine. Hugo was babbling, chatting, having a great time. And then we, uh, and then we got in there, the nurse obviously ran through all the checks and everything, made sure that he was good to have the jabs, checked his little red book that we've got. Um, and then she said she's going to start with the the right side. So she made Hugo sit on my lap, facing this way. I had to hook one arm around his leg um, and bend his leg, and then I had to hook the other arm around his arm and hook and like bend his arm so that she could jab the leg and then jab the arm. The left side she managed to do really quickly, really easy, really seamlessly because it was literally just like jab done, jab done. But then obviously Hugo had wised up to it and he knew exactly what was coming on the next side when I got him in the same position. She said hold him really tight and I was like I am. He's a very strong boy and I don't think people understand like quite how strong Hugo is. He like, if he doesn't want something, he, there is no, there is no, like, making it happen. He will force his way out of a situation if he needs to. So I turned him on the other side, and then I got his legs and arms all in the right positions, and he seemed fine. 
he was wriggling a bit, but he seemed fine. And as soon as that needle came out and she went to go and inject in the leg, she put the needle in and he moved so quickly and shot his leg out and thrashed his body backwards. The needle fell out of his leg onto the floor. The nurse then said, no worries, I didn't inject anything in, absolutely fine, I'll just clean up the area and we will start again with a brand new needle and everything. So thank God for that, but oh my God. She was like, you just have to hold tight. And I was like, I was holding tight. And I was getting very emotional. Now, Reese is not good with injections or anything like that. Like the sight of a needle, Reese just goes into one. He absolutely hates it. So the injections and immunizations have always fallen onto me. Um, I was smart enough to bring my mum with me this time as luckily Reese was in work because I don't think he'd have coped. I think he probably just walked out the room. But yeah, I got Hugo into the position again. My mum then had to help as well and hold him in position whilst also bribing him with mini cheddars because apparently that works. So if anyone is going to be giving their kids their immunizations, like their one year immunizations, bring some snacks or bring some something to distract them if you can. Yeah, we ended up getting the other jabs done. Um, and everything was fine. And then as soon as all the jabs were done and I stood up with him, silent, he was absolutely fine. He was just munching away on his mini cheddars, giggling away. And then we were like, okay, say bye-bye to the nurse now. And he was like, bye. Like, like after all of that, you're just gonna be smiling and giggling and say bye. After getting blood over my jumper, you're just going to be smiling and giggling and say goodbye. Honestly, he was testing me. We got home, I managed to get him off for a nap, thank God. It was a bit of a danger nap. We really eked out his nap until the last minute. Um, usually he has a nap about 2.30 or three o'clock. Our appointment was at three o'clock, so we didn't get home until about 3.45. So we gave him a slightly shorter nap, but it was obviously a later nap. Um, but he's had his nap now and he has had his dinner and he seems in good spirits. I'm hoping that he'll go down for bed and if he does have any like side effects or anything like that, he will sleep them off as much as possible. I'll just keep you guys posted. Reese is home from work now, which is nice. So we're gonna have some dinner. Um, we're gonna avoid a bath tonight because a few people have mentioned avoiding a bath just to make sure that no temperatures or anything spike. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll bath him in the morning or something. I'm now also going to put my sweatshirt in some Oxy Action because I really like this sweatshirt. So we're just playing in Hugo's kitchen, aren't we? What are we cooking today, mate? <laughs> what are we cooking today? Um, he is actually right as rain today. We're very happy with how he's feeling. God, he's very, he's very noisy in the kitchen though. Yesterday we took a lot of people's advice on Instagram um, and we basically didn't dress him in anything too tight for bed. So we put him in some like a top and trouser combo for pajamas, um, like a pajama top and trouser combo, rather than a full like baby grow because it's tight um, on their skin. Um, we also didn't give him a bath last night just because people advised against that as well. So you didn't have a bath last night, did you? But you're gonna have one today. Um, but apart from that, he slept through last night, which was amazing. He woke up a little earlier than usual. So he woke up at 6.40 today rather than like his usual seven or eight o'clock time. But that was absolutely fine because then he had a two hour, uh, because then he had a two hour and 15 minute nap, which was glorious. I don't actually know how much of this video I'm gonna be able to use because he's just bashing stuff in the background. And we went to go and see grandma and granny today went for some lunch again, and we've just got home from Tesco's, haven't we? We did a nice weekly shop. Daddy. Yeah, we did. Um, and apart from that, not much more to report today. All going swimmingly well, so far, touch wood. I'm just feeling exhausted and drained. Like, I feel really, <sighs> um, I just don't think I've really like hit the ground running this year. I think there's a lot of pressure to hit the ground running in like a new year. Last week when Hugo wasn't with us for those like two or three days, I was like, go, go, go. And now I'm like, stop, stop, stop. I just can't, I just, I just can't. Did you just pop? A little pop, yes. Um, on that note, do you know what? I'm actually being really terrible with vlogging lately. I don't actually think we've got that much of an interest in life. I think since Reese has gone back to work and my work has really picked up since 
obviously Christmas finishing and all that sort of stuff, I just feel like we don't have interesting lives. Today I was actually meant to be doing a shoot that ended up being cancelled, so another one, I know. So I ended up dropping Hugo off to nursery, which was actually really lovely. I mean, he cried, don't get me wrong, but it was nice to be able to take him. Like I've never, I don't think I've actually ever taken him to nursery on my own. So it was really nice to be able to do that. So we got up this morning, we had the morning bottle, we got dressed, we got ready. I got dressed into a gym kit because I was like, I'm going to the gym once I've dropped you off. I've got a free day. Like this doesn't happen often. Do you know what I mean? So I took him to nursery, dropped him off. He actually hasn't been to nursery when was the last time he went to nursery? I don't think he's, I don't think he's been to nursery since, I don't think he's been to nursery since before Christmas. No, he hasn't. So he hasn't actually been to nursery since before Christmas. So they haven't seen him in like almost a month, um, which is wild. We've now changed his nursery days because the days he was going just wasn't working out. So we've changed his days. He hopefully is gonna be a lot happier. When I dropped him off, he was actually the only kid in today, like the only baby in his class. Um, so that's gonna be really lovely. I mean, yes, when I left him, he was upset and he was crying a bit. However, I know that after about 10 minutes, usually he is right as rain, he's happy. And he's gonna have like his teachers, is it teachers? I don't know what to call nursery. I don't know what to call people that work in nurseries. Um, like, not staff. I don't know. Anyway, his teacher. We'll go with teacher. If anyone knows the real name for it, can you let me know? But yeah, he's just going to get so much one-on-one -on -one time today, which is going to be lovely. So I dropped him off. He's going to have his breakfast. He is going to play. Hopefully he's going to sleep. He's going to have lunch. He's going to play. He's going to sleep. And then he will potentially have his dinner. Um, I think. If not, he'll have snacks and then we'll give him dinner when he comes home. I know obviously I've got the day free, so yes, I could have had him with me today. However, I just think like a routine really works and I think nursery is so good for children. Like the development, the understanding that they're not always going to be by your side, um, so they don't develop like attachment issues or anything like that. I think it's really healthy for them to go to nursery. And also if we don't send him in, we still have to pay. So, he's going to nursery. So I dropped him off and then I ended up going straight to the gym. I parked up outside and I was like, let's do this. Where's my water? Where's my headphones? I left them both at home. And part of me was like, that's it. May as well just go home and call it a day. But after about 20 minutes of psyching myself up while sat in the car, I got out, I got to the gym. I found like a old plastic LucasAid bottle. I say old, it was probably like three days old. Um, plastic LucasAid bottle. So I just grabbed that, quickly filled that up in the gym and I did it. I'm actually really impressed with myself because usually I feel like me a few weeks ago would have just gone, ah, it's not meant to be, is it? And I'd have just gone home. But I made it, I did it, I did my chest. Ooh, that's about it. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I've got some work admin to do. Boring. Um, I've got some work admin to do, which is boring. Um, and I really want to get back into doing TikToks. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but in 2020, I was kind of a TikTok sensation. I mean, I say sensation. Ah, uh, would we say sensation? Yeah, why not? I have like 200 and something thousand followers on TikTok, which is wild. Um, basically, because I wasn't working in 2020 for a lot of it because of the lockdown and stuff and hairdressers weren't allowed to work, I ended up creating a TikTok account of me skipping around in wigs and dresses, recreating famous musicals, movies, like scenes, just like really iconic moment. And it got a lot of engagement, like I'm not gonna lie. And then 2021, when work started picking up again, I think it really just took a bit of a backseat. And then Hugo came along and in 2022, I don't think I even did one. Maybe, maybe I did one? I can't remember what I did in 2022. Really just sort of like let it die. So I, I really wanna record one and just sort of get back into it. I think I want to do a High School Musical one. I'm going to see if my mum's around and if she can record it for me. Because my mum usually recorded them for me. I'm going to see if she's around and if she wants to do one. I might become a TikTok sensation again, guys. I don't know. Strange things have happened. What's that? Your ear looks lovely. Is it? Mm. Lovely. Um, Reese is doing a clean. 
Somebody's got to. I know, right? Um, I don't know if anyone lives locally to us, um, but Reese is dressed like a Dorrington's worker, which is a bakery in the Essex area. I'm not dressed, like, dressed area. like a worker. Do they wear this uniform? <laughs> yeah. What, wear a green dr stripe? Yeah. <laughs> I know the bags are green stripe. It is Ralph Lauren, like it is actually a nice shirt. Oh, it's Ralph Lauren. It's oh, a nice shirt. Oh, it's Ralph Lauren. No. Um, Reese hasn't actually featured this week on the vlog yet, have you, Reese? I haven't. I no. don't know why you picked here for lighting because this is horrific. Well, I look cute, so. Who told you that? You when you married me. Um, <laughs> um, I've actually had quite a nice and lovely and easy day. Um, Hugo's I, been at nursery the whole day. Hugo's so been at nursery the whole day. day off. Well, no, I've been doing admin. Like I did work admin and stuff, and then. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did actually. I sent invoices, babes, because someone's got to earn some money around here. Um, <laughs> I'm not working totally. <laughs> yeah, I did that, and then I sat and watched a movie. It was actually quite nice. You treat yourself. I did. Do you know what I did? Um, and then I was actually going to film a TikTok, like a um, skipping around dancing in a dress TikTok, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to try and ask my mum to film that for me um, at some point. Can you stop groping my bum? It's, I'm playing with your button. Right, okay. <laughs> I bet you are. So we are in the house. I have, I've got a camera with us, um, but I forgot to charge it. Great, great. So that's great. This is the first time you've seen the house in how long, Reese? Months, absolute months. I, I haven't been here for ages. But it's getting there. We're, we're, we're getting there. We've got some scaffolding up because they're on the next level of bricking. Wow. That side's all done. That side's ready. They're just getting ready on the left-hand side so that they can then put the roof on. God, how mad is this? I know. It feels like it's like something getting everything together, even though it's more of a mess than when we started. It feels yeah. like it's actually kind of coming together now. Yeah. Which is good. You can sort of see the shape of what we're going to have to work with downstairs, which yeah. is exciting. Because really I like entertaining, so I'm going to have some entertaining space. That's what we said, wasn't it? We wanted like the biggest downstairs we could get. Yeah. Um, Upstairs is just for sleeping, do you know what I mean? I'm not entertaining anyone up here. God. If you want to stay over, you can sleep on the sofa, babes. Oh, you want to stay over now, would you? No, not right now. This is still intact. Yeah, all the bedroom ceilings are still. All the bedroom ceilings are still up. It was just the. It was just this ceiling that they um, ended up taking down, and then all the downstairs ones. Lovely. We're getting rid of this whole staircase and a whole new one being put in. Yeah. Um, we're basically getting it prepped so that if we do want to go in the loft in the future we can and it's literally just a case of adding another smaller staircase going, going up there yeah yep. nice and definitely having spindles instead of this are they called spindles little sticks spindles little spindles yeah I'm sorry about not charging my camera yesterday because um, we actually had a really nice day out, didn't we, Race? We had a really nice day out. It was really and lovely. We were going to do like a little house tour and everything, and it's I did like a little house tour on my phone, but it's just not. It's just not the same. It's just not the same, is it? We also went to Next. So we've got two first birthday parties this weekend. We already bought one of the presents for Freddie, whose party we're going to today at about midday-ish. Um, and then we're going to Reva Ray's birthday tomorrow. It's her first birthday tomorrow. And we got her the cutest outfit from Next. So I'm just gonna show you it. Got these little leggings here, which have like a little frill at the bottom. I think they're super cute. They're sort of like a blush pink, but like a, they're like a dusty blush pink. I don't really know how to describe it. And then we got this, which honestly she's gonna look so cute in. She has the cutest style, her mum Sam. We absolutely love her. Honestly, when did our when did our weekends get filled up with like going to first birthday parties? I don't know, I feel like it just happens. It, it just it's just hit us. This is our weekends and now. All around the same time of year. I know, right? I feel like but I feel like that's because the people that we sort of like have befriended through baby life um are all similar ages because yeah. then sort of like you can talk to each other and you can relate That's and you true. can understand sorry reese is just unloading the dishwasher so yeah we've got a party today and a party tomorrow um but before that i've got to work a little bit i've been up since five not because of hugo although he was up in the night because i've been working since 5 30. so that's fun bring on the first birthday party later I can hold my own hand and I 
I can love you better than he can. I can love you better. I can love me better, baby. This is probably my favourite song at the moment, and it's been on repeat for the past two days. Oh. Hasn't it, Race? Yeah. Yes, it has! Do we love Miley Cyrus? I can back. Don't yawn during Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I can take myself dancing. I can hold my own hand. And I can love me better than you can. Do you want, the, do you want that in the cupboard? So obviously you just saw me dancing around the kitchen to Miley Cyrus. I actually don't think you guys understand the love I have for that song. Like, I think it's pretty epic. So because I'm so invested in the song, I have been scrolling through TikTok and I've been scrolling through Instagram and I've been Googling and I've been finding out some information about it, right? Basically, Miley recorded the song because the Bruno Mars song, I Should Have Brought You Flowers, uh, and held your hand, all that sort of one. It's like When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. Um, apparently Liam, her ex, dedicated that to her. So she has made a song that is like the opposite version of I Should Have Brought You Flowers and Held Your Hand. Sort of like I Can Buy My Own Flowers, I Can Hold My Hand. I am obsessed with the intelligence of that woman. Not only has she made a song to like dig at her ex, she has also released it on his birthday, the 13th of January, and she recorded the music video, allegedly, in the house that he had rented or was living in or whatever, um, where he cheated on her with 14 different women, apparently. Imagine being that epic. Could you ever be that epic, Hugo? Yeah, there you go. I just think it's an epic song. It's an absolute bop. It is exactly how we needed to start 2023 and I shall be going to her tour whenever she releases a tour. If she releases a tour. The last tour I went to her of hers was Bangers and I don't think she's done a tour since. Wow. Has she? Has she, done a, has she done a tour since Bangers? Because I don't think she has. I don't think she has. Um, but today we are going to Reva Ray's first birthday party. Yeah, obviously we went to Freddie's first birthday party yesterday. Hugo had so much fun. He threw himself around that village hall like no tomorrow. It was great. So yeah, we're excited to go to another first birthday party. What we've decided we're gonna do is because it's sort of like a bit further out, it's more sort of like Cambridge way. We're gonna drive during Hugo's first nap and then we're gonna stop near like a Costa or a big Tesco or something like that on the way, feed Hugo his lunch and then we will head over to the party. So yeah. Um, we haven't got Hugo dressed yet, obviously. Um, he is still very much in his sleep suit. Here he is, little mustard moment. Um, but Reese and I are dressed, so all we've got to do is I've got to have a quick bit of breakfast and then we've got to get Hugo dressed. And then when he is ready for his morning nap, we will be vamanusin. So we just got back from Riri's birthday party. It was honestly so lovely. It was like really like small, intimate, but like so nice. Did you just fart in the background? No! Did someone fart? No, who fell in the bag? Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, it was so special and lovely and really nice to catch up with Amy and um, obviously lovely to catch up with Sam as well and her husband and her mum and just meet the rest of the family and stuff. Um, we've never met their boys before, have no, we? Never. So that was really nice as well. Um, we actually got there super early. We got there at half 11, so we parked at the Costa nearby got out, gave Hugo his lunch, uh, chilled out for a bit, and then ended up getting to the party bang on 12.30. So we knocked on the door, and notoriously we're not usually early people to things. Like we're, not we're, we're not the best timekeepers, and then having a child made it even worse because we just work around Hugo's timings now. Um, so if that means we're an hour late somewhere, then I'm sorry, but Hugo needed us to be an hour late. Anyway, we knocked on the door, we rang the doorbell um, and we stood outside for a little bit, rang the doorbell again and then Sam opened the door and she was like, almost shocked to see us, immediately thinking we'd got the wrong day. Um, but no, we hadn't. She just said, um, apparently when we rang the doorbell, she went, oh, that won't be Tom and Reese. They're never early for anything. Well, there's a first time for everything because we were actually the first people to the party, which was really lovely because we got some like one-on-one -on -one time with them before everyone sort of arrived. I mean, there is a first time for everything. We were excellent timekeepers today. 
not because we were planning on getting there bang on 12.30, but just because we needed to travel when Hugo was having his nap because otherwise we'd be doing a 40 minute car journey with a baby that was wide awake. But yeah, it was lovely. Hugo loves his party bag. More so the gift bag rather than anything actually in it. He's put the gifts back um, in. Oh, he's put the gifts back in? Yeah. Oh, are we re-gifting Hugo? <laughs> lovely. He loves his recorder. Does he? Yeah, he, he's got a little recorder and he was um, blowing away on that. Oh, it's here on the floor. Oh, lovely. Another great part about the party was that Amy was there and she's got her little daughter, Adelie, who is, oh, she's just so cute. It's really lovely because Adelie is four days older than Hugo. Then we've got Hugo and then we've got Riri, who is about a month younger than Hugo, I'd say. I think she's exactly a month younger than Hugo. She's like the 11th, so a month and a day. Anyway, so I was sat there and one of Sam's friends basically was talking about Adelie and Hugo and went, oh, they just look so alike. How, how much is the age gap between them? And we were like, uh, like uh, four days or something. And she was like, oh, I thought, oh, oh, they're not related. And we were like, no, no, they're, they're not brother and sister. Anyway, later on, we were, I was stood with Amy and Amy was talking about Adelie and how she's got like beautiful long eyelashes and just like her dad. Um, and Sam's friend was like, oh yeah, no, I can see it now. I can see you do look, she does really look like her dad, doesn't she? And I was like, I'm not her dad. So yeah, that was really fun. Basically, uh, myself and Amy apparently uh, look like the perfect model family um, and Hugo and Adelie look like our children. So... Fair, That's fun. Like a we did, and we were all colour coordinated in matching outfits, which was not planned. But Hugo's jumper matched Amy's cardigan, and then it also matched Adelie's tights, and then like the stripe in my shirt sort of matched Hugo as well. So yeah, we did look like a family that had put a lot of effort into this first birthday party with our twins. Um, but that absolutely was not the case. All in all, we had a lovely day. It's been a very jam-packed weekend of first birthday parties, but I've actually really enjoyed it. It's, really it's been so lovely. And just catching up with people. I love catching up with yeah. people. Because the last time we saw everyone today was probably September time. So it was just lovely to like catch up and talk about what everyone got up to over Christmas and how everyone's doing. And just sort of like not compare children, because obviously you should never compare your children but just sort of like realize that they're all sort of like on the same path even though some of them are slightly more advanced or some of them are doing this more or that more it's just lovely to see that like you're doing okay and you're on the right path do you know what i mean um which is just lovely hey are they yummy are they yummy <laughs> what are you doing why don't you take one bite and then it won't be as bad? Uh. Nice. No, it's to eat it. It's not, it's not for cleaning, it's for eating. Uh, bah, bah. I got a visitor. I just finished editing this week's vlog and I realised that we didn't sign off, we didn't say goodbye, we didn't say... Do you want to get down now? Because you've done your starring role. Yeah. We didn't do any of the stuff that we usually do at the end of a vlog. So thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Um, your love and support honestly means the world. Please like, subscribe, comment, do the most. Lap it up and see you all next week if we don't see you before.